I fell in love with um, watercolor actually back in the 80s and took a bunch of watercolor classes for two or three years and loved the layering of colors. I just totally, totally love that. And um, after doing that for a while, you know, I'd never sold anything. I just was in love with the color. And one day I saw a guy wearing a fused glass and bolo tie down here on the mall. And it was made out of a material I'd never seen. I'd never seen that before. I didn't have any idea what I was looking at. And I practically just, you know, stopped him and said, what is this? Where'd you get it? And um, he said, well, it's fused glass. And I just got it down the street at the gallery. So I went down to the gallery and um, talked to the lady down there. And she sent me over to the EMU Craft Center, where I took a little three-week how to cut glass, all the theory about fused glass, and then um, I had a kiln within just a couple of weeks. I couldn't stand it. I just fell in love with it. Because fused glass is like three-dimensional watercolor. It's like, it's 3D and it's layers of color. And, oh, and what I realize is that I'm a 3D artist, not a 2D artist. So the painting, while I love the painting, what I really love is texture. typical commercial project. A lot of times I am working directly with the architect and or an interior designer and sometimes there are meetings with user groups so that we get the whole picture of what they're expecting and what they really want. Sometimes that doesn't happen at all. It just really depends. Sometimes the architect and the designer really are driving the project. On um, homeowner commissions, of course, I'm working directly with homeowners. Sometimes designers will bring me in and they'll say, we want some glass in this location but we don't know what you want to do, and we don't know what they want, but this is what we want in this space. And so I'll go talk to the owners, and I will interface with them and come up with an idea. I love the relationships. Actually, I like being able to go into a space and figure out what's going to be the best thing in that space. They're going to live with this. They're going to live with this art for however long they're living in their space. I'm not going to live with it. So I have a different level of investment. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to understand what they love. I'm trying to understand what they love and what the architect or designer needs, what the space needs. And then there's that little piece of what do I want to build? What kind of processes am I working on? What am I learning that I want to practice my skills in? You know, am I doing more casting these days or am I doing more thinner work? You know, it just kind of depends where I'm at. Depending on that kind of thing, then I come up with a proposal from there. I love the colors. I love the layering of color. I love what happens when you put one color in front of another and then there's a third color made. I like texture and I like depth. So those things are the things that artistically um, kind of keep drawing me. And I mean, I'm a person that dreams in color, you know? So that is a big thing for me. I also have a real strong uh, pull to the natural world. So a lot of my work has, you know, trees or leaves or natural world imagery, at least abstracted. It is definitely suggestive of the natural world a lot of times because I'm so influenced by that. So a lot of times what will happen is that I will get a drawing or a um, set of plans from the architect or designer and I will take a look at those so that I just have a sense of scale and I will think about it usually for a few days. I like to go on site. If at all possible, I really like to go on site because what that does for me is it gives me an opportunity to see the, um, especially if it's a homeowner, to see their stuff, 
to see how they live, to see what they like. Um, in a commercial space, it's also good to see how the space is laid out and what the scale of it actually is. Sometimes on plans, things look like they're way farther apart than they really are in real life. Like you're going to open up the elevator and your art's right there, and on the plan it looks like it's miles away. Um, so I like to go visit the sites. Uh, then what I do typically is I, I draw and I noodle some ideas around and I sketch and I do some color tests with some pastels and then I go out to the studio and I start cutting some glass and you know once I sort of have an idea in my own head about what I'm thinking about I will do a couple of color studies a lot of times to see how the colors are going to work and a lot of times I'll do an actual quarter scale sample of what the piece is going to look like. So then what I typically do is I will take the samples and my drawings and my ideas and a budget because at that point I will have worked up a budget and I go talk to my clients and I present all of that stuff. Glass is interesting because a lot of times when, well almost always, when you're working with it, it doesn't look like what it's going to look like until you've fired it. Especially if you're working with powders, glass powders called frit, the colors are opaque until you fire them. So you can't really tell what they're going to look like until they're fired. So a lot of times it's a fire, look at it, do more, fire, look at it, do more kind of a process. Um, and other times it's a build it, fire it, and you take it out and it's a completed piece. You know, my goal with, with my pieces really is I want people to live with this work and to be inspired by art in the same way that I'm inspired when I stand in a space and it takes my breath away. I want people to feel that way when they're in their homes. I want them to feel that way when they're in their workplace. If they're walking across a lobby and they see this piece of art that I made and they go, oh, that just makes me happy every day. You know, that's what I want. That's what I want for people. I don't, I think that people need to be inspired by beauty. I, that's why I do what I do. It's a beauty walk. Part of, the, part of the work.